Mercury is the one, the only... Look at this. Look at this. Look what somebody sent me. It's an old book of riddles. I bet it must be 75 or 100 years old. You want to hear some of these things? Let's just listen to this. Why is the letter F like a cow's tail? I, you want me to answer that? I, I said... I thought you just want me to hear them. I don't... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Why is the letter F like a cow's tail? I don't know. It doesn't give the answer here. <laughs> no, but it does have a couple of different... Now, here's one. Why is a man running up a hill like a fella taking a dog to his girl? Anybody know the answer? It says, one is taking a gallop up, and the other is taking his gallop up. <laughs> They're good. <laughs> well, that's how people entertained themselves 50, 75 years ago. What is the secret word tonight? Well, let's ask the duck. If any of our couples say it, they win an extra... Groucho, uh, Phil Brooker is waiting to talk to you, and his partner is our lovely Mrs. Housing Development contestant from... Uh, West Covina, Joyce McCardigan. So, folks, you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to the land of odds. Say the secret word and divide an extra $100. Good Guten Abend. Mm -hmm. Phil, Brooker, and Joyce McCardigan, huh? Yes. You were named after a woolen sweater, weren't you? Yes. That's a McCardigan, isn't it? Yes. No. Oh. You're, you're the Mrs. Housing Development from uh, West Covina? Yes. Hmm. That's somewhere, somewhere in the Badlands of South Dakota, isn't it? No, it's 15 miles out of the heart of uh, Los Angeles. Oh, what kind of a housing development uh, do you live in, uh, Joyce? A track. Your track? Well, what, what's the name of your track? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, it must have some name. Uh, all tracks have names. There's the intestinal track. And... <laughs> uh, how many people live in this track? I don't know that either. You're kind of a walking blonde encyclopedia. <laughs> well, it's not important, Joyce. Uh, when you're as pretty as you are, you don't have to know much about tracks or anything else for my money. How old are you, Joyce? Eighteen. Eighteen, huh? When, uh, when were you married? This morning? No, fourteen months ago and I have a little baby boy. Oh, really? Well, isn't that nice? Huh? You were married pretty young. Uh, did you quit school? No, I went to school and I had the baby all in the same year. Wasn't that rather confusing? When you got home, you didn't know whether to do your homework, your housework, or Little League Baseball. <laughs> How old was your husband when you got married? 21. 21? Yes. Was he going to school too? No, he was working. Has your husband got a good job, Joyce? Yes, he works for his father in commercial waste. It's a paper mill. He's a commercial waste, you say? pieces of him are coming down. $50 for you. Now, Joyce, uh, did you ever see that guy hanging around uh, Corriganville? No. They hang him 14 times a day out there, you know. He's been doing it for 10 years. That's what I call a pretty long stretch. <laughs> now, your name is Phil Brooker. Is that yes. right? You look like Maury Amsterdam. You know that? Anybody ever tell you that? I know him. You know him, huh? Well, you look like him anyhow. <laughs> and you're Mrs. Housing Development from West Covina? No, I'm from Cleveland. You're from Cleveland? The housing development in Cleveland? Oh. Did you live in the ritzy Shaker Heights neighborhood? No, I uh, lived in a very poor neighborhood. In fact, uh, it was a tough neighborhood. Right. In fact, we were so poor that uh, the poor people sneered at us. <laughs> Well, that's pretty poor, all right. <laughs> well, what happened to you as a boy? Anything exciting? Oh, not much. Not much of anything. I uh, had a few gang fights. Uh, mm -hmm. Didn't you? 
I, I had gang fights when I was a youngster. I went around with a pretty tough crowd. My gang never lost a fight until some boys moved into the neighborhood. <laughs> You didn't have a very inspirational uh, start, did you, uh, Phil? What happened after you got out of reform school? Oh, <laughs> uh, not much of anything. I, Were you uh, in reform school? No. 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 Well, I, what happened when you got out of regular school? I learned how to fix speedometers. You learned how to fix speedometers? <laughs> what do you mean, you fix speedometers? You mean you lower the mileage on them? Oh, no, no, not me. So what do you do? How do you fix them? I just repair them. And once in a while, I'll uh, make them go a little faster and make people think they're going faster. Why do you make them show a phony speed, these pedometers? Well, uh, sometimes they're, uh, they want to go a little faster and they think they're going faster, but they're not going over the speed limit, so they're not breaking any laws. And I think that's a safety factor. Do your customers know what you're doing? No. No. I Certainly, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Well, you're a charming and corrupt couple, and it's been fun talking to you. And Joyce, before you leave, remember our judges want to get a look at you in a bathing suit. Okay, fine. Well, let's see how much money you can take home. George, would you bring in the questions, please? What category did they select? Plants, animals, and birds, right? Plants? Yes. Plants, oh. animals, and birds. Oh, I don't hear very well here. <laughs> Joyce, you're the pride of West Covina, so you pick the first one. Okay. A $200 one. For $200, what is the world's largest living bird? You can talk it over, you know, your partners. But what's your speedometer, Joyce? Condor? <laughs> what's the world's largest living bird? Condor. A condor? No, no, it's an ostrich. Oh. You have three more chances to make a $500 total. You forgot that the ostrich was a bird, huh? For $200, if Airedales and Scotties are terriers, what are beagles and bassets? Hounds. Hound? Hound dog, yes, they're hounds. You now have $200 and two more chances to make a total of five. All right, $300. A group of sheep is a flock. What do you call a group of lions? Talk it over. Even if you don't know, talk it over. I don't know. It's a pride. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, one more chance to make 500. You have 200. 300. And that will make five if you get it right. Okay. $300. What kind of medicine is obtained from the Sincona, Sincona tree? C-I-N-C-H-O-N-A. T-R-E-E. <laughs> what kind of medicine is obtained from the cinchona tree? Iodine? No, it's quinine. Oh, quinine. Quinine. I'm sorry you didn't win more, but thanks for being here. How much oh, did they win? $300. $300. Groucho, Shirley Rao, and Charles uh, Vespia are waiting to talk to you. So, folks, you in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Say the secret word, and you win an extra $100. It's a common word, something you find around the house. Shirley Rouse and uh, Charles Vespier. Now, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Who is Shirley Rouse? You? Shirley Rao. Rao? What happened to the S-U on the end of it, or S-E, yeah? Like Rouse, madam, huh? Where are you from? Philadelphia. You're Charles Vespier, huh? Vespier. Huh? Vespier. Where are you from, Charles? Uh, Providence, Rhode Island. Mr. Providence, Marks. huh? What did you do when you left Providence? Well, I went to New York in the recording place, and I had a job listening to recordings every day. Now, why did you finally quit this job? Didn't you like music? Oh, I love mu music, Mr. Marks. I adore music. But listening to those singers sing, and knowing I could sing as well, and actually better than some of them, I came to California for my own career. Mm -hmm. And did you find it? What are you doing now, Charlie? Looking for a job. Well, you certainly came to the right state. There's hardly anyone here that isn't looking for a job. <laughs> are you married? Yes, sir. How did you meet your wife? Well, actually, that's a long story, Mr. Marks. Maybe it just seems long. Can't you make it short and start at the beginning? 
Well, actually, I went out with my wife's mother first. Oh. <laughs> I can see now why you think it's a long story. <laughs> why did you take the old lady out? Was the grandmother busy? <laughs> All right, how long did you date the mother? Well, actually, about two months I dated my mother-in-law. Uh-huh. Then I went out... Was this during an eclipse of the moon or something? <laughs> why did no. you take the mother-in-law out? Well, because she's a beautiful woman. Uh-huh. Then what happened? <laughs> then I went out with my wife's sister. You, see. you didn't touch the grandmother at all? <laughs> the old girl wasn't good enough for you. Huh? <laughs> now, was the mother-in-law jealous? Not at all. Uh, and then the sister, uh, did she say anything when you took her out? She said, you couldn't get the old girl, now you're taking me out, is that it? No, I, actually, when I went and I met all the family, mm -hmm. they all looked good to me, so I started from the top. <laughs> the average poor boy starts from the bottom. <laughs> I was brought up on Horatio Alger. <laughs> No, then, the, actually, the mother was beautiful, Mr. Marks. Uh -huh. The sister was beautiful. You use the past tense. Aren't they still beautiful? Oh, they're still beautiful women, yes, but my wife is just gorgeous. What do you call this uh, knockout that you're married to? My wife I call uh, Peachy Weechy. Peachy Weechy, oh, lovely name. <laughs> I have to say this myself. Is, is Peachy Weechy out there? Yes, yes. Wait up, you know. Peachy Weechy, would you mind rising? <laughs> Now, Charlie, <laughs> would you accept an abject apology? Uh, <laughs> peachy Weechy, is this Peachy Weechy? <laughs> how are you, Peachy? I can't tell you how delighted I am to meet you, Peachy. Uh, is it all right if I call her Peachy? Quite all right. Or should I call her Weechy? <laughs> now, Charlie, uh, would you consider scramming? <laughs> Could you come back, say, in about three months? <laughs> Shirley, Shirley, uh, that's you, isn't it? Yeah. I hope you'll forgive me, but I have to see this thing through, you know. Uh -huh. I'll get around to you later, if you don't mind. <laughs> Why don't you take a chair over there for a moment? <laughs> take a chair on, on the boulevard over there. <laughs> now, Peachy Weechy, I can't keep calling you that. Uh, what is your right name? Leona. Leona, just come right up here by the microphone. Uh, I have one question to ask you, and... <laughs> Of course, I could ask it better if Charlie wasn't here, but uh, why did you grab Charlie, a two-time reject from your mother and your sister? Did you just feel obligated to keep him in the family like a grandfather's clock? Well, aside from the fact that I was very much in love with him, and still I am, mm -hmm. he's very kind, very thoughtful, and he has the most wonderful voice I have ever heard. Really? Well, that's a large-sized compliment, huh? I guess if he'd been working, uh, you'd have been delirious about him, huh? <laughs> Is there anything else you have to say about Charlie? Well, just one thing. What? Would you please let him sing? Because this would be the best break he's ever had. known as climbing up the girl I love. <laughs> now, what did you want me to do, Leona? <laughs> Would you please let him sing? Let him sing? Leona, how could I refuse you anything? <laughs> If you were to ask me to cross Trafalgar Square on my hands and knees, I would do it. <laughs> well, I won't ask that. Now, what do you want to sing? Well, I'd like to sing Arrivederci Roma. Uh, Jack, uh, do you and the... Uh, those highway men you have uh, there. Are, are they familiar with that song? Well, I have the music right here. <laughs> you see, it's nice to have a man up here who is totally unprepared to sing. <laughs> Very impressive, then. How long have you been married? Five years. Five years, huh? Well. We have a five-month-old baby daughter. In five years? Well, it's not much of a trick. <laughs> All right, Charlie, tear loose. And may, may the Lord be with you. Oh, my God. 
nous autres plus à ce nous venir. Les biches d'or flame of love keeps on burning. You know, the nicest thing about this, I'm being serious, was the love light in her eyes while she was watching him sing. You know, she wanted him to be good, and she was, it was a kind of a silent prayer in her face, isn't that true? Mm -hmm. I was very impressed with that. And I'm sure you must be very happy together. Any man that couldn't be happy with you. <laughs> You make the great, Charlie. You have Thank a wonderful you voice. Thank now, why don't you for letting me sing. Well, why don't you take a seat over there? Over there where Shirley is. And, and watch your husband make a fool of himself in the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley, I still haven't gotten around to you. Now, just to save time and a lot of silly questions, what do you suggest we talk about? Do you have, do you know anything? I like to get in show business. <laughs> Anybody want to work anymore? <laughs> Everybody wants to get in the act. What do you do, Shirley? Are you a singer? No, I have a talking dog. <laughs> no, that's not good enough. Can he, can he, can he sing out of a Roma like Charlie? Almost. <laughs> You don't mean that. I got him here with me. You want me to get him? <laughs> Go ahead. Get him. You know, if dogs ever start ta talking, they'll stop being man's best friend. Is that a dog? Yes, sir. Thought it was a rat. <laughs> what kind of a dog is that? It's a chihuahua. I'm all right. How are you? <laughs> no, what kind of a dog is it? Chihuahua. Chihuahua? That's a Mexican dog, huh? Yes. What's his name? Mr. Dempsey. Dempsey? <laughs> Why do you call him Dempsey? Well, when he was a little puppy, we put him in a bin with a bunch of little puppies and just knocked them all over. And my husband is a fight fan and Dempsey is his idol. Sounds like a chicken to me. <laughs> I think Mickey Mouse would have been a better name for him, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, let's hear him say something. Something interesting, like the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> Mr. Dempsey, you want to talk? You going to say I love you? <laughs> Good boy. Say hello, Mr. Hello, Groucho. Groucho? Say Groucho. Hold say Groucho. Say hello. Hello. Get some candy. Hello. What kind of dog are you? What kind of dog are you? Say Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Well, he, he's no Adlai Stevenson. <laughs> well, we've talked long enough, and I'm sure you'd both like to win some money, so let's play the game. George, bring in the questions. Now, you understand the game? Yes. This game? Yes. And what category did you choose? Uh, nicknames and sports. Nicknames and sports. Charlie, you pick the first one and tell Fido to give me the right answer. <laughs> I guess he can't reach it. No. Anyhow, he wanted a $100 one. <laughs> you took a two, however. Hmm. Who was known as the toy bulldog of boxing? Toy bulldog of boxing. Very famous. The dog gives the answer on that. Uh, there wasn't Mickey Walker. Walker. Well, you have uh, three more chances to make five hundred dollars. Come on, now get on the ball. Two. Another two. 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 In baseball, who is known as the scooter? Rizzuto. Phil Rizzuto is right. You got two hundred dollars. Yes, sir. Now we have two more chances. Two. Another two. Two hundred dollars. Uh, 
What great football star was called Old 98? Red Grange. No. Tom, Tom Harmon. Harmon yes. You have $200. This is your last chance to make a total of five. Let's go for the three. Go for the three? There it is. For $300, who is known as the Boston Strong Boy? Boston Strong Boy, that's boxing. Man. Yes, it was. Probably the most famous fighter. John L. Sullivan. John L. Sullivan is right. And you made your $500. <laughs> well, congratulations, and we'll see you later. Well, Groucho, uh, Shirley Rao and Charles Vespia won $500 in the quiz, so here they are to try for the big money. How do you do? How do you, do you understand this game? Yes. You pick a number from one to ten. Seven. Put up a seven. <coughs> what number have you chosen? Ten, Miss Marks. Ten. I think that's the first time anybody's ever picked a ten on this show. One of you spin the wheel. Your numbers were ten and, 10 and 7 had landed on 9, so we're going for a total of 2,000. For years, Robert Gordon Menzies has been one of the outstanding statesmen of the world. For a total of $2,000, tell me with what country do you associate his name? Talk it over. What is it? Puerto Rican? No, I'm sorry, it's Australia. Australia. He's been Prime Minister for 13 years in Australia, and you should have known him. Sorry you missed it, but you wound up with how much? $500. Well, I've, I've experienced worse nights in my life. <laughs> thanks for coming down here, and thanks for singing. Good night. And now, Groucho, as we promised for the benefit of our uh, beauty contest judges, uh, here is Joyce McCardigan as Mrs. Housing Development of West Covina. Don't you love it when they whistle, Joyce? Yes. That's the finest accolade that can be paid to American womanhood. I know. Good luck in our contest, Joyce. You're very attractive. Perhaps you'll be the one who wins the title, Mrs. Housing Development of the United States. Okay, thank you very so much. So good luck to you, and uh, you're you. a very nice girl. Thank you. And remember, when you buy our sponsor's products, tell them Groucho sent you.